another tutorial. In today's lesson, we'll learn how to recreate this cool looking planet using Video Copilot's orb. So anyways, guys, let's jump in. So the first thing that we need to do here is we need to create a new composition, 1920 by 1080 pixels, but this time we want the duration to be a little bit longer because we're gonna take the best 10 seconds out of it. So I'm gonna leave it at around one minute. Then I'm just gonna press OK. The first thing that we need to do is we need to create a new solid and I'm gonna call this solid orb. And then what I need to do is I need to search for the effect Video Copilot's Orb and then I need to download it and put it onto my solid layer. So if you've downloaded and installed it correctly, this is what it should look like. So once we've done that, we need to go and get our textures. So we need to go to a website which is called Solar Textures and basically this website will allow you to download high quality textures for free. And the textures that I'm using today are going to be the Venus surface. So I've downloaded that. And I've also gotten some stars textures as well. So all we need to do is import them into After Effects. So once we've put our textures in there, you can see I've got the stars in the background. And if I take that off, you can see that we've got the Venus map texture there. So what we need to do is we need to go back to our orb. We can uncheck those. Maybe we can leave the stars. And then what we need to do is we need to go down to maps and we need to add the texture for the diffuse layer. We need to add the texture for the glossy layer. And we also need to add the texture for the bump map. Now you can see what happens when you put the bump map on, it looks a little bit more crusty. So you can change some of the settings in here to however you like. So I would recommend that you spend a little bit of time to have a look at some of these settings. So for example, to make the color a little bit um, darker, you can play around with some of these uh, settings over here. And if you don't want it to be super glossy, you can also change that as well, or you can change the brightness of the glossiness. And once you're happy with that, then what we need to do is we need to move on to the next step. So the next thing that we need to do is we need to create a camera. So I'm just going for an 80 mil camera here. And then what we need to do is we need to create a new light. So I'm just going with a parallel light. And so once I have that, we're going to add some shadows to this planet. So I'm going to come over here and I'm going to make sure that I select the light all right and I and we'll just move it away slightly so I'm just gonna move it maybe up to something like that and then I'm just gonna point the light down here so we've got this really nice you know the dark side of the planet kind of feel so once we've got that and once you're happy with that the next thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna create a small little atmosphere that you know like a little kind of glow that goes around the planet so to do this, what I'm going to do is I'm going to duplicate that orb layer and I'm just going to rename it to haze just so I'm not confused. And then I'm going to reset everything on that haze until we have a, uh, a blank orb. So now what we need to do is we need to go and we need to change a few things. So I'm just going to bring the diffuse all the way down, the glossiness all the way down, the specular all the way down. And then I'm going to bump up the illumination to, let's say, four. And I'm going to change the color as well. So because my planet is like a reddish kind of color, it's fitting that, you know, it should have like maybe an orange kind of tinge or a yellow tinge. You can change all this stuff later. And then inside of illumination options, you've got your first two options here. So I'm going to bring this up all the way and then I'm going to change the bias over here. So I just want it to go around the edge of the actual planet. So I'm going to bring that up to about 10. Once we've done that, then what we need to do is we need to play around with the shadow light and we need to also change it to screen. So I'm going to just come over here and change it to screen straight away. And so, you know, does the color match the planet? Maybe we can change it to a color from here. Maybe that looks a little bit more natural. And then what we're gonna do is we're just gonna change this, all right? So we want the light to appear only on this side. So I'm gonna get rid of it on that side over there. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm just going to bring that back down a little bit. Yeah, you know, just until it's just faint, just so you can maybe see it slightly. 
So once you're happy with your planet, we're just gonna add some glow to this. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna duplicate that again, and then I'm gonna go into our effects and I'm gonna search for an effect called glow. So the first glow, we'll just leave it as it is, but then what we're gonna do is we're gonna duplicate the glow and we're just gonna increase the glow radius to about 30. And so if you think that the shadow is a little bit, you know, not prevalent enough, then you need to go back to your haze and you need to play around with a little bit of the shadow and light until you are happy. So now that I'm happy with that, the next thing that we can do is we can just start to dress it up and do some of the animations. So the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to come back down to our orb and I'm going to pull up the camera tools. So I'm going to press C on my keyboard. So if I want to, you know, zoom that in, I'm picking this option over here, the dolly towards option. If I want to move it around, then I'm going to choose this option over here. Now, if I want to rotate it, I can choose this icon over here. But anyways, now I'm just going to give this a little bit of movement. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go to the camera settings and then I'm going to press P for position, hold shift and then press A. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click the stopwatch and then I'm going to move forward in time, let's say to about 40 seconds. All right. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to rotate it. Maybe, maybe let's rotate it like that. And I'm also going to zoom in a bit more with the dolly effect. Now you don't want to go too crazy with this. I'm just going to bump that down to a third so that we can actually see the animation. All right, so, so what we have there is we just have a small bit of movement to that planet. So we're going to add some more movement to that planet by going into the orb settings and we're going to do the same thing for the Y rotation. So we're going to start it off by pressing the stopwatch and then we're going to move to that 40 second point and we're just going to increase that to I don't know, let's say something like 40. So now when it rotates, it's moving and it's rotating as well. And I think that looks pretty cool, but I want it in reverse. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to reverse these keyframes. And so now we're going to have it coming from up here and then it's going to kind of wrap away. So we only want about 10 seconds of this. So I'm even going to maybe start it a little bit more zoomed in. So it starts from about there and we'll probably get it from there and we'll just, we'll have a small animation going from there. So now once we have that, we've got our animation happening. We might as well animate the stars as well right now. So what we're going to do is I'm just going to do a simple scale effect. All right. So I'll bring that to, let's say 25 and I'll just increase that to you know, 130%. So now we've got a little bit of movement in the background with the stars. The final thing we have to do is just dress it up. So what we're gonna do is we're just gonna go and create a new adjustment layer. And the first thing that we're gonna do on the adjustment layer is we're gonna add some lumetri color. So now you can choose, you know, any of these LUTs if you like, or if you have any special LUTs that you would like to put in, you know, you can. So once you're happy with your lumetri color, you can then also come back to your orb and then you can add some curve effects to it. So if you just double click curves and what we're going to do is we're just going to create a simple S curve. So all you have to do is just click and drag and click and drag this one back a little bit and that just makes it pop a little bit more. Then what we need to do is we need to find the 10 seconds where we are actually going to start this animation from. So the planet is in the actual composition. And so I'm just gonna go for it till probably about maybe there. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna bring that back. All right. And so now what we need to do is I'm just gonna create a new adjustment layer. I'm going to put this at the top. So I'm going to have the effect camera lens blur. And so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to animate that. I'm going to make sure that I'm off the work area. And then I'm going to click on the stopwatch for the blur radius. I'm going to bring that up to about 30. And then, you know, a couple of seconds in, I'm going to bring that down to zero. So now we're going to have a nice blur effect as the planet comes in. And the final thing that we're going to add is some noise. So I'm just going to come back over here, add a new adjustment layer and just add some noise. 
And so I'm going to bump that up to about 7% as well. So that's pretty much it for this tutorial. Now you can add some text or you can add some nice, you know, sound design and anything else you want to really spruce it up. So anyways, guys, that's it for this quick uh, planet making tutorial using Video Copilot's Orb. I hope you learned something. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys next time.